Hello guys, how are you today? Welcome back to Hennyman LPS channel. How are you guys doing today? I know you are having a hard time trying to fix your dryer or thinking about what's happening with my dryer. Well, I'm going to give you a quick idea how to quickly take care of your machine and just put it back to work, okay? So this is a little sample how the machine works, how the machine is, so in a way you can take a look at. Okay, so we have the machine right here. We have the machine right here and then um, we have tables like this, you guys here and here and here, right? Okay guys, so what I was saying is that this is like an idea how the machine is but to open it you, you gotta go by the panel here at the main board I will make a video to show you how to open I'm gonna have an access to a dryer then I will open it so you, you can see how everything can be open and put it back together but we're going to talk about um, having the, the problem without let's say your dryer spinning but not uh doesn't throw any heat it's the the drum is circulating but it's not throwing any heat okay that's going to be one sample next i'm going to show you another step okay so right now we have the drum right so we have the drum here and we have the drum here here all right so this is the drum so and we have a bed right here all right and we have the motor okay so motor all right and the bed comes through the motor by the pulley and goes around the drum so drums spins and the the motor uh, spins too so both works together uh we have here the flame duct with uh, because we were talking about the gas one okay so this is the gas dryer so we have the dark right here, we have the main gas. So gas, gas comes through here, flames up everything, and it goes, the flame comes to this duct, okay? In this duct, after you open the machine, you will find these four main fuses, all our fuses, basically. Uh, this is called flame sensor, okay? flame sensor one it is uh, the high limit sensor okay the high limit sensor and this is the cutoff switch I'm sorry this is the cutoff switch I'm just this is the cutoff switch okay if you can see and this is the 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 high limit uh, thermostat as you see the high limit and this is the thermal fuse okay so thermal fuse high limit thermostat uh, we have the cutoff switch okay so basically this one and this they work basically pretty much the same and this is the flame sensor okay so when the flame let's say it's too much flame or it's not flaming this tells this sends the signal to the gas valve to open or close all right but i will explain that later right now right now we are talking about if the machine is not heating up it's spinning but it's not heating up this is the main one if it's spinning and it's not giving you heat the main what you can do is after you open the panels okay this whole thing this square basic the body comes out okay and you will see just uh like just the rear part staying there with the base that will stay and you will see you will have an access to the drum to the belt and to the motor also from the front and you you will have an access also for all these fuses they are located here okay here the fuses remember all these fuses are located here you will see it similar as this if it's a gas dryer so when you locate this fuse it's it's called thermal fuse 
you see the thermal fuel then um, just uh, open and see if it's working okay so the easy way to test if it's working I will show you right now okay so uh, at the end I'm going to show you how to uh, how to test this one. so if, in case if this is the problem then you replace the fuse here and then uh, see if everything is working you, you don't have to put the body back to make sure to test it if it's working okay so you can just uh, spin it let, let it spin and then when this one uh, start working then everything will turn on and then um, the machine will start flaming and heating up and everything so this is like a safety switch okay let's say if it's it's caused by uh, let's say if this is if this is a uh, is gone is because sometimes there is so much dust inside so much um uh a lot of stuff like let's say if it's uh, so much pressure in the machine or something like that then that's what uh cause the problem to 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 get uh damage okay so um so that's what you're gonna check but i'm gonna do another, another video i cannot make a long video but i'm gonna give you an idea next video how exactly it's going to um to work if it's uh, uh not spinning also if it's heating up but it's not spinning or if it's not spinning it's not doing anything so next i'm gonna put in the next video okay so just don't forget to subscribe like share if you like uh just put a comment or let me know what you think about this video if i have to do something better in here i know i'm not good on drawing but i'm trying to give you an idea so you can fix it yourself do it yourself i know you can do it so see you next time this is what i was talking about about the thermal fuse if it's damaged if it's bad the thermal fuse then what you can uh, you can to make sure if it's bad or good what you can do is take a multimeter okay and just put it on the continuity right here okay that's continuity just make sure it's working yes it's working and just put one pin on one side and the other pin on the other side okay you don't touch with your finger so you can because sometimes you you travel a little uh, energy and then it, it, it will make you confused so don't touch with your finger just uh, touch it now on the other side and you'll see the screen how it changes you see it's between, between 110 and 118 something like that it's just jumping around but that's how it's supposed to be but um if it's damaged usually the most uh, common it's like uh, if you touch uh, uh from pin to pin then you will do nothing okay let's say i'm touching the pin it won't do nothing here you will just stay the way it is so that's because the damage the, the signal is not uh, going through like the energy is not going through but if it's good, it's not broken, then you will go through and it will send the signal there, okay? So that's how you're going to make sure that your fuse is working and then if you need to change or not.